the psychology major started in AUC in 1957, but over the years it sort of died and not many people were taking the major. And then Dr. Siasio came in 1971 and he revived the psychology uh, experience at AUC. When I was graduating, we were the second largest group of grads. They became identical to Siasio and psychology, that a lot of people, including myself, we thought that the, ma the, the major started with him. Dr. Siasio really laid the groundwork for community-based learning at AUC. And back then it was mostly focused on community service or observation. Now things are a little different. Now most of our programs are focused on developing scientifically informed projects, for working on more sustainable approaches that can help those communities continue. At the undergraduate level, all of our students are required to take a community-based learning course before they graduate. I've done a, a study on 23 cohorts of my students, and the results were statistically significant. Uh, and the students have gained a lot from the experience of CBL, and at the same time, their self-perception has become more positive. We did kind of integrate a community psychology approach to our program development and strategic planning for the department. We have student representatives on most committees. I see things from a student's perspective, so I kind of give them insight into how the experience is from an outsider, not faculty, not department. What is unique about studying psychology at AUC is it's several things. Number one, you have two options. You have the community psychology program and you also have the counseling psychology program. I think what makes our, our counseling program special is that it's a, it's a sophisticated package that includes intensive didactic training, plus it has a lot of experiential training. AUC is the only program in the region that has an in-house clinician training center. The psychological clinic is a gateway towards real life, uh, providing us with a safe environment, techniques and strategies with how to deal with the privacy and confidentiality of the clients. And we go through each one of their cases with them, from the initial intake, through the, their treatment plan, to the way they conceptualize their cases. To have a comprehensive three-year program that covers pretty much everything you need to know to become an effective counselor is really special in this part of the world. And in a country where we just don't have the capacity for every person who has a problem to see a psychologist or a psychiatrist or any kind of practitioner, we need to find other solutions that are more community-based, that address many people at one time. We teach first about general principles about prevention, so how do we try to create communities where there are fewer health problems, where there are fewer mental health problems, and also how to promote well-being in communities. We're a practitioner training program, so our students have to be working with partners in order to gain their training and also to offer the services that they offer. In order to graduate, you have to do an internship for one year. I did my internship at Helm for the first semester. We worked on the Photo Voice project. In this research, it was a strength-based approach, so we focused on the positive aspects in the lives of persons with disabilities. في ناس منهم كان التفكير بتاعهم كان سلبي الى حد ما الفوتو فايز خلاهم يفكروا بطريقه ايجابيه I think at last count we have more than 40 memorandums of understanding with different organizations الجامعه الامريكيه في شراكه على مستوى كذا مشروع وكذا وظيفه شراكه فيها استمراريه يعني اقدر السنه الجايه ابقى عامل حسابي ان قسم علم النفس هيبعت لي مجموعه من المتطوعين فاقدر اشتغل معاهم في برنامج we do partnerships uh, with NGOs like Kotaneya, for example, and uh, we've done a lot of work with them. They prepare our students for the service itself if it's related to the work of Kotaneya, like working in orphanages. The American community has a lot of 
وطنية فتحت الباب إن طلبة الجامعة الأمريكية يجوا عندنا ياخدوا ورش توعية دوز اند دونز توعية لهم عن القضية كان في تدريبات للعاملين في جمعية وطنية من أساتذة في الجامعة الأمريكية I've been collaborating with uh, UNICEF, the Ministry of Social Solidarity, and the National Council on Childhood and Motherhood. Do capacity building for social workers and also for uh, staff working on the child helpline. Both groups working in the field of child protection. And our dream is at some point to have a community consultation center where we can offer all sorts of consultation from program development to evaluation so that we're continuing to empower communities and transform lives for years to come.